Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to add extensions in Chrome Android. So if you're wondering if you could actually add extensions in Chrome in your Android device, well, the simple answer is actually no. But the good thing about this one is we have a workaround for this one. So if you want to install a extension that is for Google Chrome, you won't be able to directly install it in your mobile device via the Chrome browser on your mobile device. So we'll have to use a third party or another web browser for this one. So the web browser that we'll be using is going to be Kiwi Browser. So with that said, the first thing that you want to do here is basically start installing Kiwi Browser. So go to your Play Store here and just search for Kiwi Browser. So let's just search for Kiwi Browser here. And when we actually search up Kiwi Browser, as you can see, this is actually a pretty small, very small browser here. Just click on install. And once you've installed this, just click on open. So if you're wondering, how do you actually use Kiwi Browser? Well, Kiwi Browser is pretty much the uh, your everyday browser that you could use. So it's quite similar to Google Chrome if you're going to ask me. But the good thing with Kiwi Browser is you could basically add your extensions. So if you've playing Roblox before, you, if you're aware of the uh, BT Roblox or the extension for Roblox, you could actually install that in in this browser here. You could also install Adblock, ad blocks here. So how do you actually do that? So it's actually pretty easy because usually when we access our settings at the top right so so if it's for google chrome you won't have the a, a possibility or the setting to actually edit your extensions but with kiwi browser you'll be able to add extensions as well as remove them so as you can see at the top right under settings you'll be able to see the extensions section so just click on extensions now from here how do you actually add your extensions so what you need to do here is you want to ensure that developer mode is actually enabled so at the top right make sure that you enable developer mode now once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the plus from store button at the top left of your screen. Once, once you click on that, it's actually going to load up the Chrome Web Store. So in here, you just need to search for the extension that you want to install. So for example, we want to basically install the uBlock Origin here. Let's just go ahead and go to uBlock here. And from here, you can just basically start using this one. So for example, just click on Add to Chrome and it's going to say Add uBlock Origin. It can read and change all your data in your website and all of other stuff here. Just click on OK. And it's going to install that into your browser. So let's just wait for it to complete. But once it actually installs, as you can see, it's going to change to Remove from Chrome. So when we actually go back into our home page here, let's just click on the top left. That's where the home button is. So how do we actually access our um, extensions? So again, you need to click on the top right of the screen. That's where the tree bar or tree dotted icon is. And it's going to pop up a few things. As you can see, uBlock is now in here. So if you want to use uBlock, just click on uBlock origin here. As you can see, it's going to show the UI for uBlock and a lot of uh, other settings here. And that's how you use your extensions. Now, how do you disable this extension if you want to? Now, same thing, you need to click on the tree dotted icon at the top right, and you want to go to the section that says extensions again. Now in here, if you want to remove or even just uh, disable it, you just need to click on the switch button next to the extension itself. Or here, just click on that. And you've just successfully just disabled it on your browser. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.